Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Calejandro here and welcome back to another episode of Magayan. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Silangan Highway. Yes, Silangan Highway. Silangan is the Filipino term for west and this is the western highway because it's on the west side of the river which i still have no name for it's inspired by pasig river in manila and the philippines so if you guys have any suggestions for the name of this river kindly comment them down below and let's get started with the video so firstly what's happening on the screen is we are building the highway and this is the segment that you know why why did why didn't you just connect the bridge directly to the highway on the bottom right and just make a curve a gentle curve well the thing is there is something i'm going to be building something there something has already been there long before this road i mean this road was generally built like that like a square and that bridge was later expanded and it was later um widened to make way for this thing but something was placed there before something a heritage building or a park or something important to the people and they didn't want that to be destroyed by a highway going through so they decided on making this oval about square about it's it's a one-way road that goes around that significant thing i think it's going to be a, uh, an old building or something 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 that would be you know worthy of being saved from a highway and this this highway that we're building right here is mostly it's most like a um what do you call this it's not it's a short term like it's when people um decide on things together they can't get everything what they want so this is just like i forgot the word and uh, so yeah this was supposed to be like a complete highway like straight from the united states kind of highway where they would go through the entire city and plans the original plans for this i guess was that this canal would be used to be the new highway it would be filled up or something but the people refused and this was like this is that place that i'm building here the bottom part of this is going to be the port but this is only the old port if that makes sense because the port will be later expanded with a lot of land reclamation to handle the grow it the growth of the of the city and i'm taking inspiration from manila for that so here is the picture of the port of manila i guess you can see here the land reclamation which is much larger than the the one that we have here and yeah this is i'm just you know placing this down i changed that road into a tram road because in this version of manila we still have trams yay and this tram goes through into the industrial area the port because that's where the depot is going to be and yeah the depot is going to be on the industrial zone and an industrial zone i think is japanese owned you know because in the next episode i will be placing some japanese buildings there and they feel industrial that'd be the headquarters of the japanese companies that built this during world war ii because you know magan was invaded by japan like everything else in like during the um invasion of japan during world war ii it was part of the japanese empire and seeing that magayon had a lot of potential they chose to develop this place even further and yeah that is that and now i'm just using node controller to make this road these roads wider and that so that you know it would be smoother for the people but i think the lane markings that i did for this episode are wrong i think they're on the opposite direction I, they are the opposite angles on what they should be i think they should be like yeah this is very i'm not sure though comment down below if i have r r opposite like lane markings i mean road markings on the signs those like barrier thing i don't know but now i'm doing this small little intersection i will be placing a time traffic light there once we built out the area because you know you can't really see like the flow of traffic that much you can see a little um a little bit of traffic going through even though i have this like i don't know i will explain this first so this is you know basically the thing so the highway has one dedicated access to the left and one dedicated access to the right with two lanes going straight through and yeah it's very simple like that so it's gonna be like that but it's gonna be i think i don't i don't think this is gonna be like that big of a intersection because it's only serving the trams basically and the people who want to go into the offices near the industrial offices basically and the city but they have already have a uh, connection on the other side which we're going to be building next but now it is what it is 
just fixing up these alignments because you know I'm quite a bit of a per perfectionist well letter F a bit of a perfectionist so I want things to align and also because you know it, it doesn't hurt for things to be you know aligned properly but yeah these these lane I'm not allowing any traffic to turn right because this will be uh, once again a highway and nobody is allowed to turn right on those things and I just place like La intersection marking tool and I just place lines over intersections so that they would look like they're going continuously and now I'm doing this trick where I place a bridge over a road a road over a bridge basically because this road the bridge type of it it's kind of kind of thick because and I also wanted to have an arched bridge so this bridge is from the from the latest um community community ah, content creator pack cpp yes and this is the bridges and piers yeah by i forgot his name link is gonna be i don't think the link is gonna be in the description by the way but yeah if you this is one of the latest um dlcs from city skylines and i kind of love the bridges especially this one because this city is built by it's following the design of daniel burnham this is the plan as you can see we're taking inspiration major inspiration from that rather than the real life manila but we'll also be taking inspiration from real life manila from the buildings basically because it's just the brandon plan is just basically roads and i want to capture the um the asset the essence of the place which we're going to be building in the next one so stay tuned subscribe turn on the bell notification so that you'd be notified whenever i upload a brand new video i'm going to be building tomorrow laying out the places we're going to be building in the next episode and i'm going to start like detailing one place i guess binondo i'm not sure i think i will be building binondo in the next episode but yeah so excited for that I think that's gonna be on friday so stay tuned and yeah now i am doing this connection to the highway this is the radial road this is i think this is edsa but i still have no name for it yeah we're, we're not i'm just gonna be calling it edsa for now so this is edsa terminating into the highway and it will have a direct access to the highway it will be a dedicated interchange intersection it's not an interchange because the people here are protesting like they don't want the canal to you know turn into something ugly but yeah i will be doing the canal in the future because this will part of they be those will be part of the redevelopment program which started in episode six yeah i started the waterfront redevelopment program and yeah this line here this road that is at an angle i didn't actually connect this to the i mean it's connected to the node but no nobody has access to it because i'm planning that this would be where the elevated expressway would be at because the land reclamation for the port would be you know massive so they have to have a dedicated connection for that instead of because you know this this part is still connected to it like the bottom part of it the diagonal road is still connected to the land reclamation but this highway wouldn't be able to handle the traffic caused by the larger harbor so they decided to build an expressway on it preserving the um the, the the canal in the like residential area while serving the harbor at the same time so yeah it's a win-win i don't i still forgot don't know the word that people use when they it's a compromise this highway i found the word ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen my brain has functioned after 300 years yeah so this highway is a compromise basically and it's compromising the needs of the harbor the needs of the people and the needs of the city all in one and they ended up with this it's kind of an avenue but yeah it's a highway nobody had no it's only cars so no, no pedestrians can actually walk through this i think the pedestrians would go in yeah they won't be able to access this because opposite this is just the harbor and nobody would like to walk to the harbor nothing is important there it's all just container ships and I mm, know, cargo, I uh, know, cargo container. Yes, and now I'm detailing this thing right here. This is a three, three-way intersection, I guess. Um, the traffic going straight 
eastbound which is the one in the bottom it has uninterrupted access to go through but the people wishing to go into edsa have to wait for a traffic light and the same goes with the people i know it's different for the people going westbound which is this intersection i'm building here people wishing to turn right can turn right anytime they'd want but the people going straight through and the people going into the highway would have to wait for a traffic light and yeah, I will also be building the traffic light system for this once we build up this area. And this area is going to be Tondo, Manila. But this will be a very glorified version of Tondo, Manila. Because Tondo, Manila right now is very dense. And yeah, the houses there. I don't know. It's just sad to see that what poor planning can bring and yeah we're doing uh justice to daniel burnham's plan but i don't think daniel burnham's plan did justice to the needs of the people and yeah that's why i'm doing this because it's a mix of it's, we get the best of both worlds and this is the this is the main connections to edsa so it has a dedicated intersection by and that is why it's like this because it's a radial road that goes all across the cities the various cities and yeah, this is one of the older ones. So this is the compromised highway. So there are not much uh, flyovers, elevated portions, except this expressway. And, but, not and, but we're going to have like a dedicated highway, highway, which is going to be C5. And that's the second radial road, circumferential road actually for the city. Because a radial road is a ring, but a circumferential road is a half ring. So it's like a letter C. That's why it's called C5. Yeah, so the lane um, mathematics for this thing is that people going eastbound, which is going into the city, have two access, two uninterrupted access into the city, and two lanes going into Edsa. And those in Edsa have two lanes to go westbound, and one lane, one dedicated light rain. Light rain? right lane Mo, i'm mumbling and those going into edsa have a dedicated right lane from the city and they have three lanes going straight out into the rest of the highway and the rest of the highway is still under development i'm still not quite sure on what to do there but yeah this i'm placing li line line markings but i'm fillers there are fillers but i don't think the angles are right you know hit me up in the comments if they're right basically because i'm very conscious i haven't seen much and you know it's kind of you know kind of lazy and you know to boost up the algorithm people commenting more people watching more people to get to experience magayon and yeah just placing down these decals to give it a little bit more depth because these are not actual like stops people don't actually stop here it's like a custom thing that i built it doesn't even function that well people actually stop at the end of the node where they should be they don't stop here it's just you know it's just a visual it's just for aesthetics as the entire city is it's, the city is just aesthetic so yeah now you'd see me place down the arrows on where or where, where people are going to be driving on the direction they're supposed to go for each lane i think i did pretty well i still have a lot of detail to add but i think this is you know a nice balance of it this is you know laying out what will be in the future you'd see that three in uninterrupted access going through and one right turn lane it's at side because you only ever need one lane to turn right because nobody is ever going from that part of the city into Edsa because they already have access in the city to Edsa because this is just you know now i'm changing the highway to a darker color to suggest that this is a different road like this road is not like the other roads this road is much faster this road goes you know it's a special road i think it's supposed i thought of it as a toll road but you know if, if you've seen the roads in singapore i have seen driving videos in singapore i think there are highways that go into the city but they're not actually highways yeah that's basically what i take inspiration for this highway and yeah just placing down these lines again once again i'm not sure if they're right i think they're right but i think they're wrong at the same time you know now when you're nearing the interchange you have no you, ha you can't turn a lane so i'm placing down these filled lines we're not adding it's not dashed it's just a line so that people don't have a choice 
and yas if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up yes because i've loved i love making roads and roads are kind of like my roads are kind of amazing and placing down those lines but sadly the traffic is non-existent since since i expanded the city diba guys in the last episode i built edsa and then c5 c5 is actually like a national road four lane national road from the workshop and it's much faster to go through there than to go through the entire city because the speed limit there is 100 so most of the through traffic true traffic goes through c5 rather than this highway and we're gonna have traffic in this highway once we built up the port and the other areas in this city which is going to be on the next episode once again i'm going to show you a little bit of a teaser since you've made it this far into the video yes this is going to be the what you the next episode is what, what you're gonna get in the next episode so stay tuned now i'm just adding in some arrows for this oval about rectangle about like it's kind of roundabout but it's not like round and yeah next i'm gonna be adding these barriers because yeah this is a highway even though it's just a normal road i changed the speed limit to make it feel like a highway and i added barriers to signify that people are not allowed here this is solely for cars and trucks because it's serving once again the highway and people uninterrupted access well there are two interruptions the two inter intersections but this will be serving two uninterrupted access from the outside the city into the harbor and to the main city and yeah just placing down these road barriers gave it more of a realism just made it make it made it feel like it's an actual highway rather than just another wide avenue and now pl i'm placing down trees which made it even more realistic like the views you get from this like here's a picture of the driving the view of the driver and it's amazing you, you see these trees while you're driving by it calms you down it prepares you like it's like a sneak peek on what's to come because the city is very green and yeah once again i told you this is a compromise so they re re they reversed no they kept the original canal and i think i'm gonna be doing more renovations to that canal like rehabilitation because Nobody actually has access to that canal. That canal is divided by the two lanes of the highway. And I think I'm going to be doing those in future episodes. If you'd want me to um, build that, I guess, you know, click the like button. Comment down below if you want to see that. But now I'm just adding in these bushes and trees to make the scenery more beautiful. And speaking of liking and subscribe, this video is sadly coming to an end. So if you've enjoyed this video, once again, I recommend you to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any suggestions you want to see next. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you'd be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. If you want to support our channel even more, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash and become an official citizen of Magayon, early access to my videos and exclusive content like future map of Magayon question mark mods list they're gonna be early for patrons but i will be releasing them in the future when the when milestone is hit so if you've enjoyed this video the video is coming to an end yes yes all this all that this is Calejandro signing off Bye!